We begin our story tonight with the question, who is Moises Kaufman? And before we can dive any further, I did some deep undercover investigative digging. Here's what we found out. So let's go see. Oh. Uh. <laughs> who is Moises Kaufman? Who is Moises Kaufman? I don't know. Who is Moises Kaufman? Know. Who is Moises Kaufman? Do you know who? No. Cynthia! <laughs> who is Moises Kaufman? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> We're gonna ask. No? 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 Min. Josh, who is Moises Kaufman? Who is Moises Kaufman? I don't know. Oh man. Who is Moises Kaufman? Moises Kaufman? Moises Kaufman? No, no. Hi, you don't know me, but who is Moises Kaufman? No, who is Moises Kaufman? Oh, I know that. Um, he... Moises Kaufman. Oh, playwright. He's a playwright, isn't he? Huh? He's a playwright. Who you think? Wrote... Oh, I know no. this. No, no, no. I know this. He traveled the world. The Laramie Project? That's the one. Ah! We have a winner. Okay, I know who Moises Kaufman is, and I'm about to tell you. Welcome to The Director Files. Welcome back to The Director Files. I'm Tanisha Breidenbach, and today we are investigating Moises Kaufman, the man, the myth, the mystery. You may recognize his name from The Laramie Project, which he wrote and produced and directed. However, how did he get to projects such as the Laramie Project. Well, we will tell you, our deep undercover reporters, me, went into investigation and here's what we found. Moises Kaufman was born and raised in Venezuela. However, Venezuela at the time was a deeply Roman Catholic country. Born to the son of a Holocaust survivor, he was raised very Orthodox Jew in a very conservative family. That partnered with him realizing he was gay at the age of nine led Kaufman to feel very isolated. During his time in Venezuela, Kaufman joined the Thespis Theater Ensemble, one of the most prominent theater companies in Venezuela. During his time with them, he dealt with unrealistic, unnatural playwrights such as Moliere, Sternberg, and Ionesco. Through the theater Thespis Ensemble, Kaufman founded the question, does function affect form or does form affect function? And from this question came his ultimate question that he uses to drive the rest of his work. Does this medium that we have, how does it differ from all the others? How does this impact the way we tell stories? And from there, you can see all of this in his plays of Oscar Wilde, of The Laramie Project. Kaufman says, the theater as an art form must be questioned constantly in order to have social relevance. It was through his knowledge of questioning what general th theater practices are and theater traditions that got him to develop the technotonic theater. Now, the technotonic theater means the art and science of structure, according to Kaufman himself. However, in addition to directorial duties, Kaufman normally took on the lead role as well, which helped bend the method of technotonic technotonic methodology and took the rest of his shows and became prolific throughout the country. Kaufman actively questions the assumptions for which mainstream media is based off. And from that, he derives these questions. Who is going to tell this story? How will we tell this story? How do narratives change according to who connects them or who controls them? These are the driving movements of Kaufman throughout time. Now, I had the chance to speak with Kaufman in a direct, direct, face-to-face, one-on-one interview via YouTube. But here's what he had to say about artists that are struggling to find what he has to be the next Kaufman, to be the next Kaufman. Here's what he said. My name is Moises Kaufman. I'm a playwright and director, and I'm here to tell you that it gets better. I grew up in Venezuela in a very orthodox Jewish community, in a very Catholic and machista country. Growing up, I was told in a hundred different ways that being a homosexual was the worst possible thing I could be. You know, I think all of high school I was terribly depressed. And uh, I decided that, that 
what I had to do was I had to do what was in my heart, which was writing and directing plays and films. And I kept working for that. And I had to believe somewhere in my heart that it was going to get better, and that there was going to be room in the world for somebody like me. And I'm here to tell you, I'm 46 years old now, and I've written many plays and directed a couple of movies, and I am here to tell you that it gets better. That, that once you're out of high school and once you're out of, 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 of the small-minded communities in which we grow up, it gets better. So I ask you, Moises Kaufman constantly challenges traditional theater norms. He challenges how we direct a play, how we go about interpreting the script, interpreting the text, making new stories from the play. So I ask you, not who is Moises Kaufman, but rather, who will tell his story? Who tells your story? How do we tell these stories in a way that Moises Kaufman would approve? Well, stay tuned for the next episode of The Director Files to find out just exactly how we answer that question and who we're covering next. I'm Tanisha Breidenbach. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.